Dutch Research Council, NWO, and the Ministry of Foreign Affairs present Urbanizing Deltas of the World, a unique research and innovation program to increase our understanding of river deltas, the landscape where people and water come together. Delta regions are home to the world's most fertile soil, abundant biodiversity, as well as the largest cities and ports. Their natural wealth and strategic locations offer advantages for trade, economic activity and food production. But a closer look at Delta regions reveals pressing challenges, especially in the light of rapid urbanization and climate change. We need to find solutions, develop interventions and contribute to water safety, food security and to sustainable economic development for all communities in river deltas around the world. Urbanizing Deltas of the World supported researchers to generate new tools, technologies and perspectives towards inclusive, sustainable development. What did the researchers work on? And what did we learn about urbanizing deltas of the world? Let us start our first journey of the deltas. In 2012, deltas were on top of many agendas. We managed to put the heads together for a powerful research and innovation program. The first goal was aimed at mobilizing North House Consortia working in public-private partnerships. This led to the start of seven integrated research projects with a total budget of around 5 million euro. The Strategic Delta Planning Project has compared and strengthened Delta planning processes in the Netherlands, Vietnam and Bangladesh. Hydrosocial Deltas was a research project to understand the flows of water and people and its impacts on disaster planning for a more inclusive urban development in the Netherlands and Bangladesh. Delta Ma was another project about the potential of managed aquifer recharge, a system for safe drinking water provision in saline deltas. The Shifting Grounds project focused on capacity building among local actors to manage groundwater and enhance water security in peri-urban communities, from Kulna in Bangladesh to Kolkata in India. The Sustainable Freshwater Supply Project has explored options for solving pressing challenges in water and sanitation with communities and authorities in Maputo, Mozambique. Adaptive Delta Management offered an innovative perspective to address uncertainty in long-term Delta planning in Bangladesh and Indonesia. The Rise and Fall project has delivered strategies for the subsidizing and urbanizing Mekong Delta in Vietnam. This delta is sinking and facing increasing saltwater intrusion, mainly due to groundwater extraction for industries and agricultural production. These projects were highlighted at an international conference in Vietnam. Here, delegates connected with others involved in river deltas worldwide. They shared insights on how research and practice meet and feed each other to develop effective research and outreach approaches. We are a partner that can help you implementing um, these projects and taking into account the land subsidence that is happening in the Mekong Delta right now. Both researchers and stakeholders can learn from each other in each locality and across countries. And we need this kind of experts to take their leadership for Delta management in the coming days. This event was the starting point for the next phase. Roadshows and discussions with business partners led to a second round of applications in which six more projects were funded from Bangladesh to Ghana and Vietnam. Living polders in Bangladesh increased knowledge and found solutions for drowning polders. The entire project focused on the sustainable industrial development in Vietnamese river deltas. 
Core Bangladesh aim to increase community resilience through living labs for flood-proofing technologies. The water apps combined formal and informal knowledge for improving weather information services to support farmers in Bangladesh and Ghana. A research project in Ghana developed alternative approaches for port development. And Deltap improved safe drinking water for communities in arsenic-affected areas across India and Bangladesh. During a workshop in Bangladesh, researchers, policymakers and practitioners came together to exchange findings and to connect the program to the Bangladesh Delta Plan. One of the key findings was to include local communities in setting the agenda of Delta management. The Urbanizing Deltas of the World program has challenged researchers to close the research to action gap. But more was done to give a boost to implement results and connect worlds of knowledge. The third and last initiative was launched in 2019 to improve the visibility and societal impact of the research. The results of the program were shared through stories. These 23 projects combined provide a wealth of knowledge. Our ultimate goal is to improve Delta regions to benefit both humankind and the planet. Let's connect, inspire and shape the future of River Deltas together. Breaking Barriers